Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. This time we're talking about Security Breach, Steelwall Studios, and the brand new Tales from the Pizzaplex books. Surprisingly, we have a lot of Security Breach news to talk about in this video, so honestly, I don't want to drag out this intro too, too long. So if you're excited for Security Breach news, and also I got some merchandise news lined up coming out this weekend, bunch of YouTube stuff, bunch of Funko stuff, a bunch of Hex stuff. It's gonna be a big time for news right now, so hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all the FNAF news. And let's kick off this video by talking about the Tales from the Pizzaplex books. So if you're not up to date, the Tales from the Pizzaplex books are a brand new book series from the FNAF franchise being released this year. They have a similar style to the Fazbear Fright books, where in one book there are three stories. But this series is a bit different, because at least one of the stories in each book directly connects to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex from Security Breach. But today we finally have the official descriptions for book 2 and 3. So as a quick recap, Tales from the Pizzaplex number 1, Lally's Game, has a description that reads, Some secrets are better left hidden. A forbidden artifact from her fiancé's past beckons to Selena. Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Maya can't resist the temptation to explain explore an off-limits area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, everything comes with a price to pay. So the first book, Lally's Game, comes out on January 19th of this year, so pretty soon. And now we have the official description for the second book, Haps. Have you ever wanted something badly, even though you shouldn't? Steve's dream of a video game programming career and starting a family led him to take a job that seems too good to be true. Aiden and Jake can't resist scaring some young kids in the tube maze of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. And all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he knows he really is, an animatronic. But in the world of FNAF, be careful what you wish for. So the first story focuses on Steve and his dream job of becoming a video game programmer. A job that seems too good to be true. Now we've had stories in the past where characters go into video games, Though I don't think we want to talk about that one anymore. If you know what story I'm talking about, you know what story I'm talking about. <laughs> Though the one about Steve will connect to Haps, the character who may be on the cover if their name is Haps, because the first story in each book always connects to the title and the cover. Aiden and Jace are scaring some kids in the tube maze of the Pizzaplex. Not sure what could go on there, maybe they get trapped in the tube maze, they can't find their way out. I honestly feel like that second story might connect more with Haps. Cause let's say they're scaring kids in the maze, they, you know, they get lost in the maze, they need help. Haps, help is on the way. And maybe they get chased in the maze, I don't know. And Billy wants to be an animatronic. Huh. Now, I think that one might be hinting at a theory some FNAF theorists have going right now, and that is the theory that Gregory is a animatronic, a robot. So depending on how that story goes down, we may have some evidence for that theory, or maybe it'll go against it. I don't know, that's gonna be a very interesting story. Moving on to the third book called Somnophobia. What are you running from? Sam is afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy ever since his father died. Something about the spring trap costume in the role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex chills Luca to the core. And Grady's fear of being trapped in small spaces makes working as a Pizzaplex technician extremely extremely challenging. But in the world of FNAF, our deepest fears have a way of chasing us. So once again, Sam, you know, being afraid of unhealthy treats since his father died, um, will most likely connect to the daycare attendant, Moon, on the cover, Somnophobia. So I feel like this one is a super predictable story. The Moon will offer some of the sleepy time candy to Sam, he's gonna fall asleep, he's gonna stay asleep, because that's what Somnophobia is, the fear of sleeping and staying asleep, and we'll probably get tormented by Moon, the daycare attendant, while he's sleeping, being stuck forever sleeping. Something about the Springtrap costume in the roleplay area, though, that story is, um, not one I want to touch. Chills Luca to the core. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna go on in, the, in that story. Maybe Luca will get spring-locked, maybe the, the costume's like super, super accurate where it has spring-locks. I don't know, I don't really want to read about a FNAF roleplay story, but 
<laughs> in the Lord's year of 2022, that's what us FNAF fans have going for us. And then finally, Grady, he's a technician at the Pizzaplex, he's afraid of small spaces, and the deepest fears have a way of chasing us, makes me think, you know, they're gonna be chased in probably the vents by some animatronic. So those are the two new descriptions for the Tales from the Pizzaplex books 2 and 3. Tell me what are your theories about the books and the stories down in the comments below, and let's move on. So we actually got news from Steerwell not too too long ago on a brand new patch coming to Security Breach. Updates on patch 1.06. Hey, hey, we've got a small update for you regarding the latest patch for FNAF Security Breach. To align with the launch of our physical disks, we've broadened our language support to include Korean, simplified Chinese, and traditional Chinese. Physical disks will be available on April 1st for the PS4 and PS5 in both US and Korea. For our PC users, you'll be getting this patch in a few days and it will also contain the game's size reduction. We do appreciate your patience for this change. Since it touched literally every part of the game, it was vital we tested again, and again, and again, and again, and then one more time. The version that's been live had a download size of about 52 gigabytes, with a uncompressed size of about 84 gigabytes. The new version has a download size of about 41 gigabytes, with a uncompressed size of 65 gigabytes. That's it for the current update. We know it's not much, but since it's technically a patch, we want it to be clear about its content with a formal update. Thanks again for sticking with us and FNAF Security Breach. We'll have more new, more exciting updates for you in the not too distant future. Thank you, Ray McCaffrey. So that was posted on the 31st of March, and I know the update has been pushed for PlayStation, and I'm pretty sure it will be out very soon for PC. And in that post, they talked about the physical disc of Security Breach, and that's exactly what we're moving on to right now. They even had a cute little video to go alongside with the release. I'll play that right now. Now. Welcome to Mazerside! Work off the calories while you eat! Sign up for a membership pass today! Super cool perks include discounts on pizza, nachos, fries, and cookies! Now that's the smell of fitness! Get your very own copy of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. <laughs> And golly gee, look is what I got here. So even though I don't have a PS5, I spent 40 bucks on a game I don't even have the console for. I bought a physical copy just so I can show it off for you guys in this video. Here's the back. There you go. You can read that if you want. Just a little description about the game. And inside you have a sticker sheet and also the disc for the game. I know some people do care, so here's a look at the disc. It looks awesome. I love how they actually, you know, made it look cool. With the logo and some, you know, stars and a cool little background. But also, if you do buy a physical copy of the game, you also get some stickers. A Freddy, the sun, Chica, Monty, the moon, Roxanne, and also the Pizzaplex logo. So there you go, physical copies of the game are now out, PS4 and PS5. And I do get a lot of comments asking, when's the game gonna release on Xbox and Switch? And gee willikers, if only I had made a video talking about that. Oh, wait a second, I did. So if you missed that, the exclusivity deal that Steel Wool and Scott had with PlayStation is over. It was a PC and PlayStation exclusive for the first three months. So the deal's over, they can now release it on other platforms like Xbox and again, Switch, if it can handle that. I'll keep it a stack with you boys. I don't think it's coming to mobile, but yeah, Xbox and Switch and you know, other, other things. It was actually announced that it's coming to Stadia as well. I forgot to put that in my FNAF news document, but I, hey, I just remembered about that, so yeah. <laughs> Stearwell is working with the Stadia team on a brand new plugin that makes porting PC games easier to Stadia, so hopefully we can expect it to come to Stadia pretty soon, and hopefully we can expect it to come to Xbox pretty soon, because I know a lot of you guys are getting pretty impatient, uh, but let it be known that they are most likely working very hard on porting it over. It takes a lot of time, so we just gotta be patient and wait. Moving on, we got Steelwool over on Game Jolt. The FNAF community over on Game Jolt just reached a million members, which is crazy, and Steelwool made a official account, and they're giving away a few Funko statues for the game. Wow, there are one million 
million of you as a thank you for being an important part of our FNAF community. We've got some fun giveaways to celebrate you. Post a screenshot on your profile playing Security Breach with the hashtag, hashtag welcome to game jolt, and we'll pick five winners to gift FNAF Funko 12 inch statues. The game jolt staff will notify the winners by email on Friday, April 8th. So if you can't do dates, that is today. So get those screenshots in as soon as you can. I'll leave a link down to their game jolt uh, in the description down below. So go enter if you want to win. And finally, the last news topic for today. Security Breach is officially on the Epic Games Store. You might have seen my last video on it, but yes, you can now get Security Breach on the Epic Games Store. It is up on the store right now. You can go get it if you want. And because of this, a lot of people are thinking, hmm, maybe we could get Freddy Fazbear in Fortnite, maybe? Now, I got a lot of comments on that video and also my, my TikTok video. Hey, follow me on TikTok. I have TikTok. TikTok boy. I'm a TikTok boy now. Absolutely hating the idea of FNAF coming to Fortnite. And honestly, that's why I want it to come to Fortnite even more now. It's not guaranteed to happen, but this is definitely a step closer to having it happen because now Scott and Steel Wool are directly working with Epic Games to get, you know, the game on their platform. And this is the first FNAF game on the Epic Games store. And I'm pretty sure Epic Games knows that there is a big, big hype around FNAF right now and a big, big hype around FNAF in Fortnite because that would be hilarious. So I'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but I do think it's probable at this point now. But that is gonna do it for all the FNAF news for today. Once again, I'll be back this weekend with some FNAF merchandise news. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.